James Cleverly, he literally just became the foreign minister. You know, uh, Rishi Sunak became prime minister. And so he, he put uh, Cleverly in his cabinet. And, you know, th th they're, they're kind of grilling him right now in the media and saying that, uh, you know, it's rude of him to tell gay football fans uh, basically to hide that they're gay when they're in Qatar. I'm seeing more outrage about this, about his statement than about the, the slave labor and people that were literally used at, at, like as slaves to build these stadiums that are going to be used in two months. But the other thing I want to say is like right now you have all this, this, this um, outrage about Iran because they have a morality police, right? F and, and, and they're trying to portray Iran as being like, you know, it's a bunch of cavemen who don't respect women when there are actually more women in universities in Iran than men, right? Um, but... You look, look at the hypocrisy. Saudi Arabia also has morality police. Did you, do, do you even know that? Did you even know that, let alone hear someone complain about it on CNN? Are there any sanctions on Saudi Arabia's morality police? Huh? Women couldn't even drive in Saudi Arabia until a few years ago. And now the West, oh, they suddenly give a crap about women in Iran. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, they, they have no problem depriving uh, uh, wi women and specifically mothers in Iran of, of uh, medicine, of uh, food. That's what sanctions do. And so, you know, with, with, with Qatar, you can see, uh, once again, th th this double standard. Like, th there are things they'll criticize Iran for, which most of the time are not even true, are not even true. And when Saudi Arabia or one of the other Gulf countries do the same thing that they're criticizing Iran for, or even worse, or even more, they don't say a word about it. They don't say a word about it. Look at the, the double standard at the corruption. They have no problem with these Gulf countries, right? The, the, the Khalij, as they're called. The, the Arab kingdoms in the Persian Gulf, the Khalij. They don't have any problem because they need them. They need those, those guys to give them oil and to, to prop up the dollar.